It was interesting that he ran with the twos on Thursday against Minnesota. So what? where is Kyle Shanahan right now with these quarterbacks? Because they were very clear during the broadcast, and they talked to Kyle that it's a quarterback battle right now for the number two spot between Sudfeld, who's a vet, he's almost 29, and Purdy, who's a rookie. Well, I would say that's the number one thing to come out of the game that not only was I not expecting, because I kind of went into this game once it kicked off, like, you know, this is going to be a lot of probably a Drake Jackson Kinlaw breakdown from Haberman Middlecoff. And then by about whenever that came out, when Purdy came into the game and they brought that up, I perked up because, you know, in, in football, it doesn't have the basketball, baseball element of local broadcasters. And that you can tell like what the teams or owners are pushing, right? In football, you just kind of get the national broadcasters and you never truly know. And sometimes you do, you're like, God, they're, they're really hammering hard on this one guy. Yeah. It was very, very clear tonight that they've been told like, this is a battle. And then you're watching the game going, well, I kind of get why it is. He looks fantastic. And you start thinking about like, what is Kyle like? Accuracy, understanding of an offense, quick processing, uh, he kind of has some Jimmy Garoppolo vibes. <laughs> I would just say like the way the ball Pretty comes quick. out, it comes out quickly, right? Maybe even a little more accurate. I, he had a drive where he went one of four. He had every single guy in the hands. Like there was the one drive when they dropped like multiple of his balls. I, I thought he looked fantastic. Like my first takeaway is he's not only not getting cut, which I would have said two weeks ago, like, yeah, it's, you know, Brock Purdy be a practice squad type deal. Brock Purdy is not getting released. Brock Purdy is going to be on this team because under no circumstance, if Kyle already likes him that much, and I would say tonight was a positive for Brock Purdy, wouldn't you? A very. <laughs> so he's not getting released because under no circumstances, even let's say John and Adam Peters, like, you know, could we get him on the practice squad? If you put a guy on waivers, one thing I learned, and we say this in Philly and every building says this, you have to be prepared to never see him again. Because if someone else claims the player, you that player doesn't get to pick and choose. Like, I don't want to go there. I'd rather come back. He's gone. He is claimed. He disappears. Now, if he's cut, you, maybe you could get him back. But that is completely out of your control. And clearly, they, they're they not cutting Nate Sudfeld. They like him. I, I ex, My expectation is for them to have three quarterbacks. And I am by no means confident that Nate Sudfeld, I would probably still give him the slight edge, just age, experience. Experience, yeah. But but, I, but think I think things things happen, right? Like I went to a Cal football practice today and I we were talking about who Reiner. the backup quarterback was. And it was fun. It was early, it was like 9 30, nice and cool. You and I, big Justin Wilcox guys. Uh, and they were like, Well, you know, maybe this guy now, but by midseason, it might be this other guy who's younger. And you know, maybe something like that happens over the course of an NFL season where somebody who older is the backup quarterback to start the year, and then you get more and more comfortable as the year goes on, or that person plays. And, you know, I think the one thing with, with Sudfeld is we've at, at almost 30. Now, maybe he would argue, Kyle would argue he's only thrown 37 NFL passes. He hasn't been with me. I can make him better, but, um, it's 28 kind of the new 24 in the NFL, given how youthful everyone is. I mean, Brady. yeah, I mean, maybe it really doesn't matter. The, the, the only reason age matters in this case is the question is, can, how much more is there between where the guy is now and where his ceiling is? But I do think Kyle Shanahan has shown consistently that squeeze every whatever a guy has, he squeezes those drops out. But you know, I, I I think you're right. Now you they would have a pretty good awareness. We'd have to look at like everyone's roster. Is there a team that doesn't have a backup that Brock's clearly better than? But if I, they I like him, there's so many people running his offense that don't you think? Well, Kevin so O'Connell people... is he better than Kellen Mond? I don't know. I mean, Kellen Mond was a third rounder, but not by these guys. That would be probably a little. That's was he better than Sean Mannion? I'd say yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, Sean Mannion's played a lot of NFL football, right? You know what he is. But he, but but I guess he'd be their third quarterback, right, in Minnesota. But what if you know? What if you're the Packers and you go, well, Rodgers could retire any year if you guys cut him. We'll put him behind Jordan Love, and boom, we got those three guys. Yeah, not worth it if you like them. Because the one thing clearly with this guy, and when you look it back at, they missed on. Uh, on CJ when they drafted in the third round, but it didn't ultimately matter because Nick Mullins turned out to be better. Now, ultimately Nick had a ceiling, but this guy to me kind of fits in that mold. Doesn't he kind of Mullins -y with a little Jimmy Garoppolo can move is accurate, gets rid of the ball fast, can operate in this offense. Like one thing when you see 
Nate Sudfeld, I, I would say that Kyle likes a guy to have a little more athletic ability. I, I know he did play with Matt Ryan and, and Excel, but I, I think it's kind of shown that Jimmy is kind of the the like lowest bar for athletic ability, but Jimmy's pretty athletic, right? Just in terms of movement wise, because a big part of this offense is the plays they were running the night, which Purdy's pretty good at just the kind of the rollouts. And even when he's getting, he can kind of stop. I, to me, the number one characteristic that jumps off with Purdy is like kind of an innate feel for the position. Now feels like not, a, feels like a gamer feels like a gamer, but watch him at practice. Like he's just, I think we all underestimate him because the way he looks, and there have been guys that short, fall yeah. under his mold, and I would put CJ uh, or I would put Nick Mullins, and I put like McGloin's of the world. Like there have been guys that have played in this league. It does feel like he's more talented than those guys. He's just a better player. Well, he was definitely now part of it is where he played, right? But he was definitely a he was an extreme. Ex, he was a twelve thousand yard passer in four years of college. Played as a true freshman, right? And never even very productive. relinquished the job, not even close. Took it and ran with it, and they built a powerhouse for about three years, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I think maybe you answer the question this way, because I know they gave Sudfeld $2 million, but if you said put a percentage between – take 100% and cut it up, what percentage is it that Purdy's on the team in three years? What percentage is it that Sudfeld's on the team in three years? You'd have – I think you'd have to give a large, a large piece of that percentage to – Brock Purdy at this right, like right now today, right? I would bet on Brock Purdy being the backup quarterback in 2023. And Nate Sudfeld probably not being around. Yeah. yeah. I, I also, you know, well, if the, that's the, the case, then you and, and you think Brock's not quite ready right now this second if he had to come in week one, then you do carry three quarterbacks. Well, here's what I know watching like uh for some reason the Raiders were playing in Miami. Like the, the travel in these preseason games is outrageous. But think of the guy, like, who did Josh immediately trade for? Josh Stidham. Well, Brock Purdy to me Jarrett. is better. Jarrett Stidham. I got him, I'm off on my names tonight. Purdy is a better player than Stidham. And when you think about Josh McDaniel, like, who he he just thrived with Mac Jones. Who, I know he wasn't the GM, but I, I think Josh feels comfortable with those type guys. Jarrett Stidham falls under that category. Nick Mullins is on the Raiders. Like, I... My first thought was like, I bet Josh would like Brock Purdy based on, I'm not even talking about Iowa state because I, I think it's fair to go. Well, this guy's small. How's it going to translate? And it did. He went Mr. Irrelevant, but you just watch these two games. And now the buzz is out. Like Kyle kind of likes this guy. I think there is absolutely zero chance guy, zero chance that he wouldn't get claimed. Now, when I say claimed, I don't mean like people are claiming to be a starter, but a guy like Josh, Kevin O'Connell, uh, LaFleur, these guys would immediately just keep him as their three. Because I bet a lot of people kind of liked him. And for whatever reason, their team didn't do every, – every team in the league passed on him. Literally every single pick up until the last possible draft pick. The, the Niners so, passed on him multiple times. <laughs> so, but like all of a sudden you watch, you're like, I knew it. I knew it. I think there are going to be a lot of people in the league and more probably coaches, like quarterback coaches and OCs than scouts that it would be like, I knew I liked this guy. Look at his film. I love this guy on my team. I, I, I just think – it's over. Like he's on the team. Now, the only question to me is do you put him two or three because the sec the backup quarterback is a pretty big job on this team, given that this guy's played two games, two and a half games, and he got banged up. So it's like <laughs> he wouldn't have been able to make his other start. Was it against Arizona when he like remember he sprained his knee? Yeah. And then Sudfeld was the backup quarterback the following week. So right. so it's like I hope that's I hope he plays all 17 games, but You've always said, and rightfully so, like, we've got a long way to go before we cross that threshold. You know, a lot of runs for Trey. Well, he around. played last year and got hurt. Actually, <laughs> yeah. got hurt in the preseason, played with that injury, and then got hurt in the regular season, right? So got hurt twice. Now, that, you know, previous uh, injury performance is not necessarily an indicator of future injury, but... Wouldn't you say that Brock Purdy, though, just... I don't know is this organization backup quarterback has mattered a lot in the last several years. And don't Sorry. they value guys... I know they look completely different, but I think kind of similar. Like, I understand why they like both these guys. We talked it out with Sudfeld this week. It really hit me tonight just watching him play. Why, Kyle, you and I were texting back kind of fucking around, but I bet Kyle right now really, really likes this guy. Like, don't, what, what don't would you say that. on a 1-10 to 10 of, of not your starting quarterback, how much you could possibly like 
the last pick in the draft at quarterback, Kyle's like closer to a 10 than he is a five on this guy, right? Yeah, now. yeah. Understanding that it's a sliding scale. <laughs> yes, totally. <laughs> he loves him. He, he Kyle him. has 100% said, man, if Brock could only, was only, if Brock only, and then fill in the blank, he would have been a first rounder. Like Kyle has said that to somebody. I'm telling you, he'd have been a first rounder if he was 6'4". Has he dropped at a bigger tr- arm? Has he dropped uh, in a meeting? No players around. If Trey only did blank like Brock, <laughs> we'd be cooking with gas. <laughs> <laughs> I texted you that today, and I thought that that comment was too hot for the internet. But uh, maybe if he <clears> only <throat> had Herbert's arm, <laughs> he made a couple nice throws today. Uh, the, yeah, I mean, the, you well, know, honestly, what they might have said if he just had Sudfeld's arm, we just cut Sudfeld. Sudfeld does have a Sudfeld, Sudfeld has a good arm. Throw, throw, throws a pretty, pretty. Uh, Sudfeld throws a pretty ball. Yes. 